Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, the other day, I um, put all the parts in for the uh, shipper shaft, you know, the PTO here. Uh, today, what I want to do is I want to take this tractor apart, and I'm going to uh, clean up the block and everything, get it ready for paint. Uh, also, another problem here is this uh, fan shroud is riveted to the other part here and as you can see one of the rivets is broke out of it I don't have a rivet that big what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to uh, once I get it apart maybe I'll take a carriage bolt and stick it in through the bottom I'm probably going to have to uh, grind it down for it to work and just put a, a nut on there with a washer or something to reinforce this again this is flopping around like crazy here and another thing I want to do is, I have a brand new belt for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, uh, when I start taking this all apart here, I'll be able to swing this back. I'm going to put the new belt on there and see if I, it needs to be adjusted. We're going to do that for now. And the other day I wanted to start up the postal here. And what happened was that the uh, needle and seat, the needle was stuck. Um, what the needle does is, once the bowl is filled with gas, the needle comes up and stops the uh, fuel from still entering the carburetor. Now, if you get the least little bit of dirt in there, the needle and seat, the needle won't close. The fuel fell. So what was happening was the fuel was coming out of the throat here into the air filter. Uh, hose who's loaded you see it on the last video I did on this so what I did today was I took the uh, fuel line off here where it goes in the inlet here and I sprayed some uh, brake clean in there to see you know to dislodge it it seems to be working okay I have the gas turned on right now and if it wasn't seeding the, the uh, fuel will be coming out of the uh, throat here so I'm going to get this uh, back together here. And I'm just going to make a couple of passes in the field. See how see how it is. I know I had the gas shut off. But even though I shut the gas off. What was left in the filter here. Probably ran down in there. And then you know flooded the whole thing out. I know one thing. Uh, the best thing I could have done with this when I first got this tractor is take the gas tank off and clean it out that way. But I didn't. I just flushed it out the best I could with the tank already still on there. So, well, I'm going to see what happens now. I put everything back on. I'm going to adjust the carburetor. We'll take it out in the field just make a couple of passes. I don't like repeating everything again, but this is all I'll let you know what's going on and then this other fuel filter I put on here I'm noticing there's really not any uh, dirt in here but like I said the smallest particle of dirt can get caught in the needle and seat and then it'll flood out so let's see what happens I know there isn't much grass to cut, but this has been the best it's ever been since I put the new uh, exhaust on it. I think I got the carburetor straightened out, but I'll see. I'm going to park it back over where, where we are working on the uh, 69, 
and I'm going to disconnect the uh, air filter hose over where it goes into the carburetor and I'm going to leave the gas on it. I'm going to shut the engine off, leave the gas on and see if it holds up, the needle and seat holds up on it. Okay, it's been about a half hour now and the postal gravy seems to be alright with the carburetor leak. So, okay. On this one, I took the uh, handlebars off. I took the shift levers off. I loosened these two nuts here that hold the, uh, also hold the uh, shroud on. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop off this ready to break belt here. Okay. This is how I like to do it. This way I can make the adjustments and everything. I don't have to worry about anything. I can just clean everything up and paint it. As long as I know this belt fits right. So what we're going to do now is pop this on here like so. I guess it start from the top maybe. Should be able to roll it on there. That's almost there. I'll try to do this without crunching my fingers. Okay, it's on there. And then what I normally do is I just push this back where it belongs. And then you're going to tighten these nuts up here. And then you'll get an idea of how tight the belt is. I don't like making the belts too tight because everything is old on these tractors. And I don't want to uh, ruin the bearing here. The fan bearing. I'll just give it a little snub so I can show you. That seems to be pretty tight. It's pretty good. It'll wear in too. It'll loosen up a little bit, but not enough to really worry about because you're only turning the fan, the cooling fan. So, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.